Hey class, combining like terms day two. Remember this is for if you missed class or if you're at home sick or in quarantine, you can watch the video. Otherwise, you should be taking notes with me in class and no need to be watching this at home. Your goal today is that you can combine like terms. So here's a quick vocab review. A blank is a letter used to represent one or more numbers. Um, that would be a variable. A variable is a letter that we use to represent an unknown value. A blank is part of an expression that is added to or subtracted to other terms. I think it's a term. A term is a part of the expression that's being added or subtracted to other terms. A blank is a number part of the term with, with a variable part. So the number part, remember, is called the coefficient. A blank term is a term with a number part but no variable part. So that's a constant term. Blank terms are terms that have the same variable parts. Variable and exponent must be the same. Those are called like terms like terms. Okay, so are these alike or not and why? So 4x and 3x are like. They both have, um, let's see, both have an x. Okay. 5xy, negative 8xy are alike. They have um, the same variable part. They're both xy. 4x and 3y are not. One is an x and the other is a y. So one is an x and one is a y. 4 and negative 2 are like terms. They are called constants. They have no variables. And 4x and 3x squared are not alike. Um, one is just x and the other um, is, so one is single x and the other uh, x to the second power or x squared and those are not alike. One is x, one is x squared. Identify the terms, the coefficients, and the constant terms in each expression. So the terms Individually, I'm going to just put them with parentheses or commas in between. The terms are, we have three terms here. One is x, negative x, comma. My other term is 2x, comma. And then my third term is 8y. So terms are separated by the addition or subtraction. So I have three terms in this expression. The like terms are the ones with the variables that are the same. So my like terms are negative x and 2x. The coefficients are the numbers in front of the variables. So with the negative x, remember that's my implied coefficient. If I have an x, I have a 1x. So if I have a negative x, I have a negative 1 as a coefficient. I also have a 2 as a coefficient and an 8. And then I have no constant terms in this expression. I have no terms that do not include a variable, so none for that. In the second example, there are four terms. The terms are 2x, negative 5, 8x, and negative 3. You could see, you could rewrite this as 2x plus negative 5 plus 8x plus negative 3, and then you can clearly see the terms. 2x, negative 5, 8x, and 3. Four terms in this expression. The like terms are the 2x and the 8x are alike, 
and then the negative 5 and the negative 3 are also alike. So the 2x and 8x both have an x, and negative 5 and negative 3 are constants. Coefficients are the numbers in front of the variable. There are two coefficients in this expression. It would be 2 and 8. So negative 5 and 3 are constants. They are not coefficients because they do not have a variable part. And they are constants. So those are negative 5 and negative 3. So let's just practice combining like terms again. First, rewrite it. This will be 5a plus negative a plus 2 plus negative 6. Identify your like terms. 5a and negative a are alike. 5a plus negative 1a would be like 5 minus 1. So 5 minus 1 would be 4a. And then we have 2 plus negative 6. So 2 plus negative 6 would be the difference would be 4, and it's going to be negative 4 because 6 is bigger. So when the signs are different, we find the difference between them, and you keep the sign of the bigger number. So negative 4. Or remember, it would be 2 positives and 6 negatives. Then two, 6 take away 2 would leave me with 4 negatives left. So 4a plus 4 or 4a minus 4 is another way you could write that answer. 3x minus 4x is the same thing as 3x plus negative 4x. They are like terms. You can combine them. 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1x. Or you can write it as just negative x, that implied coefficient. When the coefficient is 1, you do not need it. If it's negative 1, though, you still need the negative sign. This one would be 9 plus 7y minus a negative would be plus a positive. And then we have a 7y plus a 5y that are alike, which would be make 12y. And then we have a positive 9 out front. Since the positive, the 9 is positive, it would be plus 9 to the expression. So I'm going to rewrite this one. It'll be 5a plus 3b plus negative 6a plus 7b plus negative 3. Identify your like terms. I have 5a plus negative 6a. 5 plus negative 6 would be negative 1a or just negative a because 5 take away 6 is negative 1 or negative 6 and positive 5 is negative 1. And then 3b plus 7b is 10b, positive, so plus 10b. And then we have just this lone constant, so you can just do minus 3 at the end or plus negative 3 at the end, whichever one you prefer. Typically, you'll see this written as just negative a plus 10b minus 3. This is probably the more common way to write that answer, just kind of simplifying it a little bit. All right, you give it a shot now, and then turn it in when finished.